guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel so real quick uh i just got out of the shower so like my hair is obviously wet but in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i edit um a lot of you guys have been requesting this i'm also excited to make this i think it's gonna be like really fun showing you guys like my process and stuff so yeah i'm gonna kind of hit some key points so there'll be like timestamps that you can skip to so i'm just gonna start because i don't really know Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna start. The first thing I'm gonna be talking about is equipment. So real quick, um, I edit on a MacBook and I also edit on Final Cut Pro. I record on a Sony ZV-1 and this is my only camera. I wanna get another one soon, like a better like sit down camera. I still like this one, this one's really good. And then I also have a Sony like sand, not sand stick, oh my God, hello. A Sony handheld stick i don't really know what it's called but everything will be linked i have this little thing to put all the footage into my macbook i think it's like an adapter and then another useful thing for me is a planner i plan out like everything and then i think this is pretty obvious but occasionally if i'm out and about i'll just like bring some headphones um and those are jbl ones and then also the plug in a portable charger because it can die. That's all my equipment that I use. I keep my files and stuff pretty organized. I mainly only use my MacBook just to edit in like Pinterest and YouTube videos and Roblox. It's pretty clean. Like I don't really have a lot on my desktop. It's literally just the videos on the right side and then my Final Cut Pro videos. Now I have to stop recording so I can import the footage. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so I just imported everything. So now I'm gonna start editing and then importing it. I import everything video by video. I don't import all the videos at once. So yeah, my first step is to cut everything. So if there's like pauses, that's my first step. I'm just gonna cut out anything that has like spaces or if I say um, or if I mess up. And this is probably like my longest process. Everything else is like, okay. So another thing I also want to talk about is be comfy when you edit. I'm always comfy when I edit. So like right now I'm in like hoodie and pajama pants. I think that's pretty obvious. And I also want to talk about like how long it takes me to edit. So it kind of depends. I have a really, really, really low attention span. So I get distracted super easily. Like if I need to search something up because I don't know what to do. If I like have a question on something, I will watch videos on YouTube like videos from my recommend and be like oh that actually seems interesting and then i'll watch it and then like completely forget to search up what i was on youtube for in the first place or like go on my phone so if that never happened it probably would take me like around six or seven hours to finish editing but it takes me like days because number one i'm always busy and then also like i just said i don't have like a high attention span also make sure you have snacks near you i have gummies snacks and water is also good next thing i'm going to talk about is fonts and sound effects that i use sound effects i mainly just use computer mouse occasionally swish one or two i don't use sound effects a lot I just only use one sound effect, which is computer mouse. I don't really use transitions either. It's more like hard cuts, but if I do like a swipe, I do slide. I also like circle. And then for like video effects, I use earthquake sometimes if I'm like being a little crazy. But I also like to add effects onto my text as well. So if I like want to wave my text, look like that then i'll use like the underwater effect but yeah that's basically all i use i don't really use that much but for text i just use mainly typewriter and basic title the fonts that i use is like the default font which is if i put something not so important like if it's just like a little comment like on the side like girl what are you doing i'll just leave helvetica as it because i don't want to put like a fancy font for like something that's not supposed to be fancy so if i say like one of my steps which is like going to the bathroom or something well that's like a weird example like i'll use nice fonts so um i used to use apple chancery Apple Chance, I don't, I don't know how you say that. Apple Chancery a lot. I like this one too. I just haven't really been using it lately. I've been using Basic Commercial a lot. That's like my main one that I use now. It's not hard to read or anything. And then I also like messing around with colors. Okay, so if I have like this, like let's just say 
um, after school routine. So this is the default one. And then I'll go to fonts, I'll scroll to basic commercial. And then I like to make it kind of big so you can like really see it. So after that, I like to, like I said, mess with colors. So I mainly mess with pastels and pinks and whites. So that's like my main thing that I like to do. There's a whole bunch, like honestly. So it just depends on what you want. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is music okay so for music i like going on thematic um thematic you do have to pay though and also for final cut pro too but i think it's worth it because they have it's obviously copyright free but i'm just going to show you guys the artists that i like using so honestly the only artist i really use is mark generous it's like my favorite like i feel like they have the perfect songs or YouTube videos, like it's very chill. You can also look at the playlists they have on here, the lo-fi music or get started on YouTube, I guess. Some of these I haven't seen. Paul's hair, but yeah, Mark Jenner's is my favorite. I don't really know any others besides Mark Jenner's. And then another thing that I wanna talk about is sound effects. If there's a specific sound effect on Final Cut, like if it's like one of those like meme, they obviously won't have it on Final Cut, so I screen record it on my phone and then I airdrop it to my MacBook. I'll import it and then I put the video under the part that I want to have it on and I think that's all I really do. Like that's basically my process. I just cut it, add text, add music, do my intro which I will show. And that's basically all I do to edit. That's like me reviewing the steps. Also, um, make time for yourself too. Don't feel like you have to overwork yourself. Just be smart with your time editing too. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I will answer them. Thank you guys for watching and bye.